everybody and welcome back to another video and we are back to Rivendell which we showed off a little bit in the last video of build update and there's been a bit more to show off to you guys so without further ado let's jump into it and see what we've done this week so the biggest update is a terrain outside Rivendell the most significant is the Falls of Bruinen as well as a good deal of the Misty Mountains as well as that, we've also included where Radagus was originally chased by the wargs in the Hobbit movie. Something that a lot of you might still remember. This here is the Moon Room's waterfall place, which is on the back of Rivendell, which you can look out into the rivers surrounding Rivendell, made by our lovely builder, George Tim. So I've always, I've come out of my shaders just so I can show off Rivendell in the default. Uh, with a default texture pack, well not default, the Epic Quest texture pack and your default shaders. So this here is Thorin's path and we're just going to follow it through um, and all the way through. And this here needs a little bit of work with the edge in to make it a little bit more natural looking. But we're just going to fly up here and round we go and here we go into Rivendell and along here to the paths. So we're just going to wait for all of this to load, about to fly over and Try and get it to load a little bit quicker. So these diamonds are just going to be where the towers are marked. So here we have white council room. Um, and then we've got all different things marked across here. Which are going to be placed in the future. But you can see the terrain um, as it normally should look. Um, if you haven't got shaders that is. And you can just have a quick look at the scale of everything. Uh, scale of these mountains. If we jump down here into the water it's quite large. A lot of work has gone into the train, but that is Rivendell as we have it so far. So big update has been made to Dale in preparation for the Empire War Siege map. The Siege of Dale from the Battle of the Five Armies. Without going into that into too much details, aesthetically, what's happened is the map has been left in ruins, which is playable on the Empire War server and hopefully a future video will come out of that. Iconically, there is now rock throwing trolls, which can be seen here, throwing rocks, which leaves fire on the ground for 10 seconds afterwards. So, a little sneak peek of what to come. The Empire War server is turning three years old, and with that, we have a three year Empire War lobby, which is in use. Um, not at the moment, hopefully, going to be implemented. A little bit of look at what's to come not really too sure if there's gonna be any events so don't message me about that because I don't know um, fingers crossed but I'm not gonna be able to promise anything but this is a three-year lobby three years of Empire War to think three years ago I made my first Empire War video uh, if you haven't seen that um, I'll put a link in the description as well so you can check that out very very old video made in 2012 to think how the time is flying Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video for Build Update. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.